I'm going to show you how you can remotely control a Raspberry Pi and indeed do a screen recording of a Raspberry Pi remotely on a Mac without installing any additional software. The first thing you need to do to get your uh, computer connected to the Raspberry Pi is to type the Apple key or the Command key and K together. So I'm going to do Command K from the finder, Command K. And then in the server address box, you need to type in VNC colon slash slash. And then you need to type in the IP address on your local network of your Raspberry Pi. Mine happens to be 192.168.178. You then need to put a port number after it. And that depends on how you've set up VNC on the Raspberry Pi, which we'll look at separately. But the port number I need here is either 5901 or 5902. I'm going to enter that in. Click Connect. And I'm now being challenged for the password that I've already set up for VNC on the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to enter that. I get a warning message about encryption. I'm going to ignore that. And here we go. Lo and behold, I've got the Raspberry Pi. And I'm doing a screen recording now. So I can open a terminal window in the Raspberry Pi. And I could just do a list. Let's do a directory listing just to show you I've got the terminal on the Raspberry Pi there. I can open some software. Let's open Scratch. And um, we'll see if we can get something going in Scratch on the Raspberry Pi. Here we go, there's Scratch. And I may have opened it twice now, I'm being too hasty. It's a little slow to load. And here we go, here's Scratch. We add some code to it. So we'll do when green flag clicked, and we'll have a bit of forever going on. And we'll have a bit of motion. We're going to move Scratch 10 steps and maybe a bit of bouncing. So if one edge bounce, stick that in there and off we go. OK, and we can see Scratch moving. This is all happening on the Raspberry Pi, not on the Mac. And the screen recording that I'm doing is just being done using QuickTime Player on the Mac. If you go to QuickTime Player, you can do new screen recording. You don't need any special software to do a screen recording. Um, on a Mac. Um, one drawback from using this screen sharing method of looking at the Raspberry Pi on the Mac is that you cannot uh, go full screen. You need other software, but I think you can use the normal VNC viewer for that. But anyway, this is quite cool. You're doing it without installing any extra software.